Hello. This is a short tutorial on how you can join a uh, Starlight Express USB filter wheel to a uh, SBIG ST8300 imager uh, close enough together that it can be used for wide field photography. Uh, my choice is using Pentax M42 threaded lenses instead of a bayonet mount. To get started, uh, the filter wheel that I had purchased I bought with SET both uh, female and male uh, adapters and uh, I then went ahead and bought an SET to T-thread adapter and also an SET to T-thread adapter for the other side. Now this one was kind of hard to find. It's actually made by Batter and interestingly this one is sold as a 2 inch to T2 reducer flange but it's not the 2 inch threads that you find on an eyepiece it's the 2 inch threads for an SCT and I will actually use this as part of the construction process to uh, make these two fit together so I'm going to go ahead and thread this on and I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to go ahead and take this one off as it won't be used uh, when uh, we try to attach these two together. The whole point uh, or the problem with doing this is getting these devices close enough together that I can still achieve the 42 or 43 millimeter back focus that these lenses require. Now it's about the same back focus as an EOS and of course the reason why I didn't want to go with an EOS is because EOS lenses such as this one and this one require uh, to be connected to an actual camera so that you can change the f-stop. Now, for all those folks that have a camera, they can take the lens, put it on their camera, uh, hit the pre-focus uh, uh, button, and then remove the lens, and the aperture will remain where it was when they did that. But for those of us such as myself, that no longer have a Canon in camera, or don't want to be uh, hassled by having to do that, in the event I want to change the uh, f-stop while I got it on the scope, whatever, uh, I, it's just a hassle. So uh, I didn't want to go that way. So anyway, um, I've removed that adapter and ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the imager and I'm going to attach it straight onto the, onto the focuser. Now as you'll see there are, are three things here which come into play. One is that that big uh, thumb screw there is, is too tall. just doesn't fit on. The second thing is that these top two are too close together for this thing to fit in here. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this out of the picture for now and we're going to open this up. I'm going to remove the filters, set that aside for a moment. Now as I've already told or said, this thing in here, it just doesn't work, but we have a really easy solution. If you turn this over, you will see that the screw that holds the brass post or axis, axle can be removed. And when we're ready, it can be reinstalled 
with this. And we use this one instead on here. One of the differences that we have to do now is that this has got to be assembled first. So the reconstruction of the filter is going to be slightly different than how we originally disassembled it. This will be going over here for a second. Now, <clears throat> there were six screws that I had to buy in order to make this conversion. I had to buy four 440 by quarter inch screws. These are what will be used to hold the imager onto this plate. And I had to buy two 3 millimeter by 6 millimeter Allen head screws to take the place of the two of those that are too wide to fit. So uh, I'm going to bring the the uh, imager over here. The imager comes with four little Allen set screws in the face plate which honestly don't serve any useful purpose that I know of. Except for to block the holes. I, uh, I suspect that these uh, holes are also used to attach other types of attachments onto this camera and that these were placed in there as just a means of covering up the holes. Now these are put in with a little bit of uh, uh, reusable Loctite and so any of that that comes off as you unscrew them you would certainly want to get out of the way so it doesn't uh, get down into your imager. Now with those out of the way, I'm going to take two of these screws, machine screws, I'm going to put them in place. And it was just, I guess, luck that the hole that is in this plate is exactly, and I mean exactly, the size to fit. And it also, uh, it's 60 millimeter by the way, if you, want, if you have a different filter wheel and you'd like to measure it. I mean it really isn't critical exactly how this goes on here. You do want to put it on here though so it's not turned so it's going to obstruct uh, however it is you're going to mount this, if you're actually going to use this mount, the quarter inch uh, hole that's in the bottom of it, I do. Uh, ultimately I'll take this ADM mount and uh, mount it on here. And interestingly, once this is all together with a lens on it, it actually balances across there. So it actually balances it pretty darn well. Anyway, um, got this together. You take and snug these down. They don't have to be, you know, you're not uh, torquing the bolts on the head of a car or engine or something. So they just need to be snug. I mean, that thing is really held well. Once that's done, you take the filter wheel, you set it in place. Take the rest of the unit, set it over the top, align the center bolt, which now will be held on with this. Turn it over, we'll line up the screws. lost myself there. These two only need to go in the top. I'm kind of partial to Allen screws myself so I'm kind of surprised I haven't replaced them all with these but I haven't. And the other three go on like so.
and we now have a completed unit with the imager and the filter wheel adjusted. Now this this uh, imager has a back fo focus of about 11, uh, 17 and a half millimeters. So if I set this on 17 and a half, then take it to uh, where this starts. Uh, you can see it's right on that line there. So using that as a as a reference, if I pull this up to the top, it's at 42 millimeters, and that's giving it room for this top piece. Um, if I wanted to go right to the edge, it's about 38.78. Add to that the top. It's about 3.5, so uh, it's right there at 41, 42 millimeters. These lenses while this lens is an M42 by 1, it threads nicely into an M42 uh, T-thread adapter, which is actually M42 uh, by 0.75, but you know what? The difference doesn't matter. Uh, I did buy an adapter for that, but it does throw the back for focus too far back, and I was unable to achieve uh, focus at infinity. Although, if you want to go further, uh, you can adjust these lenses. You can take the lens apart and adjust it. That would actually allow that to function, but there's just no need. And uh, I've had great luck with these lenses. Uh, they are they can they are either automatic or fully manual. Uh, F-stop works great on them, and uh, they have really nice glass in them. They're old and they're cheap. Uh, I just can't say enough about them. So uh, the last thing to do then would be to put the shoe on here. And then I should be able to set it down here. Focuses just great. Crystal. Focus on glass too. So it, it uh, or I'm sorry, it, it'll balance on glass too. So I hope I've helped you. I hope that you found this informative and clear skies.